Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, last time I uh, tracked down the last of these deer heads. I was rewarded by being led to a enormous stash of supplies right when I needed them the most by a deer that mysteriously vanished in the process. And, uh, I was thinking about that in between the videos, and I came to a conclusion that surprised me, but not as much as I would have hoped, honestly. <laughs> not sure what it says about me, maybe I've been spending too much goddamn time in Bright Falls. But, what I came up with is that, well, Saga has been petting each of the deer heads she finds, seeing, well, she expresses sympathy for them. You know, she's sorry that they're dead. She wishes they hadn't been shot. She doesn't think it's right to cut off their heads and put them on the wall. She has been showing sympathy to the heads as she goes along, and I think that she was rewarded for that, because I think the thing that led us to that stash was the ghost of this deer. Let my twin in the other office show the way. Maybe we, uh... Finally help them rest. Makes as much sense as anything else in a horror story. This time, we're, uh, going to look into the last of the... Lunch boxes. But, uh, that's going to be a lot easier than the other one was, to be perfectly frank. Because unlike the deer, where I had to figure things out, you know, to go to them one by one, this is just a list of them all. It's just right here. There's only one left. It's in Bright Falls. And, yeah, I'll be honest, I checked. But at least in that case, all I had to do was compare each one to this list of uh, ones I've found. So, uh... Hey, that was actually pretty swift. Uh, I had a comment here. Yes! Yes, I believe it was this box. Cookies? Who was this supposed to be for? The, the box where uh, the message said, I was going to leave some cookies in here, but I was afraid animals would get into it. And, uh, you know, it's the thought that counts, right? So, you know, shout out to Torek00 who says, Rose to the hero. It's the thought that counts, right? Around here, that's a huge yes. And I very much like that observation. And, uh, since these are Alex Casey lunchboxes, shout out to Elthwar, who says, Thinking about the idea of Alex Casey dying, I wonder if something Alan could do to help himself would be to pull an Arthur Conan Doyle by resurrecting the Alex Casey series. Also, the negotiating skills of the Koskelas are about as good as their advertising skills, it seems. Ouch. So, let's see. Wrong way. We're going that o that away. What is this red glow over the, uh, the lake? Oh, those are bowies. I hadn't been aware that, uh... Arthur Conan Doyle unkilled uh, Sherlock Holmes. Here we are in Billy's Boatyard, established to uh, 1994. What does that say? Rigging and repairs. Yes. Although, again, I just gave myself a vague area. I really don't want anyone messing around with the broken end of the pier.
They're probably liable if the fence is out. Easter eggs, like the literal ones. I do have the other thing equipped right now, don't I? No, no. Okay, so let's put that back on. The Mare Setter Charm. I mean, I didn't think that would help. Let's just head out here into nowhere, then. Places where I would have had no reason to go previously. Makes sense in my head. Oh, right, she put her gun away because we're really close to town. Or not. Yeah, let's not fire randomly through the window. This town has seen enough bullshit. bike is going to get really rusty. Man, it's just red marks on the ground. I was really hoping not to have to, uh... Ah! There we go! Thanks, Mayor Setter. I was really hoping not to have to look up the actual location of the thing, just the vague area around Billy's boatyard. gun. No, no, don't touch the water. That didn't heal me 
very much at all, did it? You know what? That was very dramatic. The light, the flashbang went off right as I died. Might make for a funny thumbnail, though. Damn! Blast and thunderation! On the subject of Alex Casey being dead, possibly finally. Uh, shout out to Justin Jones, who says, It could be much worse for Casey. He could become taken. Because in the Alan Wake universe, there are things worse than death. Oh, and a police station with outdated computers? Sounds about right. Another general area of it this time. I mean, I looked up the exact locations of the heads because I found a bunch of them because there was no checklist to compare them to. And, uh... Because the only way to, uh... You know, figure them out was to go to them one by one. So just wandering around until I found them would have just been a fool's errand. I mean, I revisited the, uh, the rental cabins at least once after I went there. On a side note, I just want to complain about something here. Marks all nearby resources and points of interest on Saga's map. When I read that, do you know what I see? When I see nearby, I think this map, this entire map, you know, as opposed to this one, or this one, or these ones. But, you know, I equip this here, it just shows me everything. That's very clearly not the case, because that didn't show up until I was over here. Which I guess means I didn't take that path the last time I left town, because I definitely wandered all around this area with that on. So hey, I'm glad I uh, just needed a nudge in the right direction. But it just would have been a huge pain in the ass to wander around the entire map looking for an icon that might not appear. Because, you know, there might have been like a bug or something. Oh, it's a deer mask. How lovely. Okay, yeah, those are there. If I take that off, will I lose the icons? Because those guys are coming, and I hesitated to heal in the middle of the fight because of it. Oh, fuck, I, don't, I have all these flares, and I... All these hand flares, and I'm uh, not doing anything with them. Does that stay? Yes, okay. I'll just go over here and... Probably get into a fight. Or hey, maybe not. Another Alex Casey lunchbox? Oh, that's the bridge over town. Welcome to Bright Falls over there. Nice. Uh, the bridge over the, uh, the the ferry route. Let's get this manuscript page before we do that. Rose receives a message. Oh, I really don't want to do this if there's going to be Taken wandering in. That's the map. Okay, fine. Mandy strip pages. Da, 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 da. Here we are. Return six. Scratch. Rose receives a message. Rose woke up from another dream from her idol. Another message. 
All through her morning routine, she was humming happily. So happily, she realized she was starting to forget what Alan had told her. Something about a hero who would come to save them all. And the hero... Rose frowned. This won't do, Rose Marigold. You know better than to forget. Something about knitwear. The hero... liked it? Rose nodded, determined. She'd use the knitwork to guide the hero to the secret stashes she had hid in the forest to help them. Knitwear to mark the spot. Alan will love that, she thought. Now she only needed the knitwork. Rose thought hard. Mandy May was always knitting. Mandy May would help her. Again, the subtitles got way out of sync there. Nothing here is edited. So you know, knitwear, that the hero liked it? I think that might have been an indicator of how, uh... How Rose was meant to recognize the hero, given the uh, the sweater I'm wearing. Well, it's still a network sweater, even if I'm not wearing the pre-order sweater. It's just red instead of green. And here it is, the final Alex Casey lunchbox for Cold Casey. Based on the novel by Alan Wake. Ah. <sighs> Very surprised I didn't get an achievement. Ah, there we go! Achievement! I was very, very surprised not to get one for the, uh, the heads. Gotta say that. Achievement unlocked, hidden by the trees. But first... The woods were dark. I held my breath. I could hear heavy footsteps out among the trees. I was scared. My heart beat in its cage. In my... My heart beat in my chest like a small bird fluttering against its cage. I shivered. I was cold, too. I saw a shape emerge from the trees. It was a menacing, large shape. A bad shape. It looked at me with evil, glowing eyes. I gasped. No! It had seen me! It growled and lurched towards me. I ran. I ran and ran and ran until running became too hard to do. I couldn't run any more, so I stopped running. This isn't terribly well written. I could feel the monster's hot breath on my neck. I was too afraid to turn around. It was about to get me. I was a goner for sure. I ran again. I had never been so scared. Not ever. This was the end. I wished someone, anyone, would come to save me. Case closed. Okay, first... Oh, right. Shift, F3. Not shift, tab. Hidden by the trees. Find all cult stashes and lunch boxes. Oh, man! That seems, uh, harsh. Like, what if you're really good at finding the, uh, the lunch boxes, but... What the fuck? What if you're really good at finding the lunch boxes, but you, uh, couldn't figure out the math questions? Like, I was very lucky to know a mathematician personally, someone I could just reach out to and say, Hey, you find numbers fun? was I about to do in here? Oh! That's right. The case board. Case closed. Rose did all this for me. She completely believes that I am the hero in Wake's story. She should be a bit more critical of a person who tries to control people's lives. Rose was leaving the lunchboxes. She was using them to fight Taken but also hoped the hero of Wake's story would find the supplies useful. And, of course, lunchbox found in the flooded area of the woods near Bright Falls. That doesn't even mention the, the boat shop. Found all the lunchboxes hidden around Bright Falls, and the last caption here is another piece of fanfiction. wonder where this is going. 
I wonder if there's an order to read the fan fiction in. Because I was kind of expecting that to be... Oh, was that the, the one that leaves in whatever the last lunchbox is? So that after I uh, find it, I can... <laughs> you know, like, oh, you hear you immediately hear Rose in the woods nearby, and you have to run out and save her from a giant taken. By which I mean those guys with the hammer is, you know, not like an actual giant giant. Now the timer is about to go, and it's pretty much the end of the session. So let's just do something cool and put uh, Scratch back in the chair for a moment. Scratch was pretending to be awake, manipulating me. What does he want from me? No, I'm in control here. It's my mind place. He's powerful, too powerful. Just his presence here makes me feel sick. Like a wave of terror through my head. I feel his single-minded drive to get the clicker. I think we still have it, it's just, uh... Huh. It's very imposing, isn't it? I liked how he just looked straight at the camera and smiled. Like, you know, he might not have been manipulating the player that way, but he sure as hell knows I'm here. I suppose I've got enough for one more weapon upgrade, huh? Probably shouldn't have invested anything in the, uh, the extra shotgun, huh? My bad. Maybe this feedback loop. Oh, I can't even afford it. Consecutive successful hits will significantly reduce the time between shots. That would have been nice. Can't get that. Can't get that. That's weird. Can't, certainly can't get that. Did I check all of them? I'm confused. Have I just, like, invested really poorly, or are there really not enough... It just feels weird that I've got ten of these weapon upgrade points, and I actually can't spend them, because all the rest are too up too expensive. The lowest ones are 12. Lame! I mean, yeah, there's a piece of advice I would give uh, if I were to, you know, you were to play this game new, that, uh... Don't invest in guns that you, uh... Don't, you know, intend to lean into. I definitely preferred the sawed-off to the, uh... The pump-action shotgun. Although I did actually have a comment on that subject. Oh, right. Eh, fuck it, I'll just look at that thing. Can't remember if I read this one before, but, uh... Let's close on this. Shout out to Derek Floyd, who says, The new shotgun, Tim, looks like a Winchester 1300 with, uh, wooden furniture, at least in its depiction on the Gunpowder magazine in The Mind Place, which has the Winchester's signature muzzle nut on the end of the tube magazine. I will take your word for it, because I'm not even sure what that means. Well, I do note that this claims that the model is called the Surveyor 590. Uh, one of Winchester's earlier models, the 1897, did not have a trigger disconnector, so it was capable of slam fire, where it would fire instantly on reload if you held down the trigger. According to the legend, American troops in World War I used this property to devastate German trenches. That is about as close to automatic fire as a pump action can get. That's actually pretty... clever. Just You hold down the trigger and it fires the second you rack the slide back. It is BAM! 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 Just holy shit. Yeah, real life, that would fuck up whatever you were pointing it at. Yeah, you couldn't keep it up for very long. You'd blow your load in less than a 30 seconds, I would say, but, uh... Oh, that's why I am running in here. Yes, because of the, the save room. So, wait, there's nothing useful in the actual physical FBI office. There we go. Okay. Then I guess with that done, I really am ready to face the end, so it's probably for the best that, uh, this is the end of the session. Oh, wait, actually. Let's do this right. Put the 
shoebox away. A shoebox with a crossbow away. Rifle in. Get rid of all these uh, crossbow bolts if I can. Oh boy, it's a lot. Oh God, what do I bring with me? Oh, right. Rifle ammo, need that. Just about full. the end of the world. I don't think I can actually stack up any more of these. Thanks anyway, Tim. I appreciate it. Thanks much to you, uh, because I never gave the crossbow a name. Thanks to you, Steven, anyway. So, uh, oh, you know what? Thank you to Yako. We'll tributize him that way. I believe this was Logan, and uh, perhaps this can be Ilmo getting vengeance for his brother. Incidentally, I really like how the Deerfest charm looks almost indistinguishable from the uh, the cult masks. Um, right! Okay, now for reals this time. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake 2, when in all likelihood, we head back over to the police station and set Saga's endgame in motion. We've still got Alan's ending after that, but it sure feels momentous, doesn't it? So, take care of yourselves, eat well, make sure uh, not to fill up your inventory with garbage, Stay in the light.